Hello, this is Lonium, and welcome to part two of my Acid Twin Gut Analysis and Reassembly series. So, in the last video, I gutted it. And now it's time to analyze it. Okay, so the core, let's start there. So, if you notice, you'll see some undercuts. So this, is it just a pick tool? One, two, three. Slot four is the one slot that doesn't have it. Five, six. Again, you can hear the difference. Undercut, no undercut. So, these rods, right here, drill protection, one, two, three, four, it's well protected, the keyway is fairly open, and it's got five sidebar, side pin slots, which are empty, sidebar slot, so side pin slot, sidebar slot, spring chambers, that's what this drill protection is for, the sidebar. So now let's do a close up of the pins, sorry about that, so So you can see that it's got a sharp edge. So here's how that works. So you see that undercut gets caught. But here it doesn't get caught. I will be doing a yeah, pick of it with one pin in it. That will be for demonstration purposes only. So let's do that now. Okay. So I'm going to put in the sidebar because that's always a good idea. Yeah. Then there will be no side pins. Get back here, you stupid sidebar spring. I talk to locks. We all do, let's admit it. Okay, so that's in. Time to load the top pin. There, if you do see the pinning tray, you'll see that the, that all the drivers are different length. That's to balance the pin stacks out. So spring, then as these are called gin bottle what I do is when I put it in so what I do is when I put it in I actually slide the follower forward then I just press it down and the followers all the way through the key goes in. And in go the pins. And all their wafers.
at it's at shear. So now I'm gonna turn it sideways so I don't get anything caught. The key does work. Okay. I'm not gonna put the back on. And I'm gonna put it in hand. Again, the only purpose of this is demonstration. So, as you'll notice, it turns. So, deep false set. Pretty sure that means the gin got caught. Based on the feedback, it did get caught. So, this is normal, right in line with the logo S. Now, it's in line with the A. There is absolutely no way I'm doing that as it's well caught. So, that should show you one of the measures of security. Okay. That's enough for the picking for now. Now it's time for sidebar analysis. Yep, there goes that. I just gotta reorganize the pins now. So, okay, I'm just going to pop that driver out, and spring, okay, and we're back to the full gutting. Okay, so, I'm going to close my picks back real quick, so I can close my case because that's a good surface to show stuff off against. Okay. Let's start off by looking at the side pin. Okay. So, there's, a, there's several ridges on it. They're all the same width, but different depths, five total. There's your hollow top and a flat bottom okay so all the side pins are identical and as you can see same grooves everywhere those right there are the springs now let's look at the sidebar which I'm just going to pull out. So, as you can see, the sidebar has its little gates. Those are what determine the code. Direction does matter. And now it's time for the this is the end of this video. You know, see you next time in the final video of this series, Reassembly. Goodbye for now. See you soon.